Live Text Access, Training for Real-Time Intralingual Subtitlers. This is Unit 1, Understanding Accessibility. Element 2, Target Users and Their Needs. This video lecture shows job-related expressions in Nepali Sign Language. The signs we show can be useful for real-time subtitlers when communicating with their customers. My name is Piero Cavallo from the Internationale Hochschule SD München in Germany. I have prepared this video lecture in collaboration with Rocio Bernabe Caro, also from SDI München, and European Federation of Art of Hearing, in short, FO. On completion of this training sequence, you will be able to communicate in job-related situations by using basic expressions in Nepali Sign Language. We would like to thank the Nepali Sign Language interpreter, Riha Maharjan, and all her team for having made this video possible. The agenda is very short. We will just provide some general characteristics of the video before watching it. Let's take a look at these characteristics. The video we are about to show is without sound and it is subtitled in the national language. Finally, this video is a replica of the international sign video. This means that the interpreter has translated the signs into the national sign language, following the same order of words and expressions as the original video in international sign. Okay, let's watch the video now.
exercises. The exercises for this video lecture are in the trainer's guide and the PowerPoint file. LTA, Live Text Access, Universitat Autonoma de Barcelona, SDI, Internationale Hochschule, Scuola Superiore per Mediatori Linguistici, ZDF, Digital, European Federation of Hard of Hearing People, FO, Velotype, Sub-T Access, European Certification and Qualification Association, ECQA. Co-funded by the Erasmus Plus program of the European Union. Erasmus Plus project 2018-1-DE01-KA203-00421. The information and views set on this presentation are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the official opinion of the European Union. Neither the European Union institutions and bodies, nor any person acting on their behalf, may be held responsible for the use which may be made of the information contained here.